Section 5.7, Enthalpies of Formation. By using the methods we've just discussed, we can calculate the enthalpy changes for a great many reactions from tabulated delta H values. Many experimental data are tabulated according to the type of process. For example, extensive tables exist of enthalpies of vaporization, enthalpies for converting liquids to gases, or enthalpies of fusion, which is enthalpies for melting solids, or enthalpies of combustion, which is the delta H for combusting a uh, substance in oxygen, and so forth. A particularly important process used for tabulating thermochemical data is the formation of a compound from its constituent elements. The enthalpy change associated with this process is called the enthalpy of formation, or the heat of formation is labeled delta H sub F, where the subscript F indicates that the substance has been formed from its component elements. The magnitude of any enthalpy change depends on the conditions of temperature, pressure, and state, solid, liquid, gas, or crystal, of the reactant and product. The, to compare the enthalpies of different reactions, we must define a set of conditions called a standard state at which most enthalpies are tabulated. The standard state of a substance in its pure form at atmospheric pressure and the temperature of interest, which is usually uh, 298 Kelvin or 25 Celsius. The standard enthalpy change of reaction is defined as the enthalpy change when all the reactants and products are in their standard states. We denote a standard enthalpy change as delta H sub naught, where the superscript sub naught indicates standard state conditions. The standard state of enthalpy of formation is a compound delta H sub naught sub F is the change in enthalpy for the reaction that forms one mole of the compound from its elements with all substances in their standard states. So elements in their standard states yielding the compound in its standard states. We usually report delta H naught sub F values at 298 Kelvin. If an element exists in more than one form under standard conditions, the most stable form of the element is usually used for the formation reaction. For example, the standard enthalpy formation for ethanol is an enthalpy change of the following reaction. Two carbon plus hydrogen plus half oxygen yields ethanol and delta H naught sub F of negative 277.7 kilojoules. The elemental source of oxygen is O2, not O or O3, because O2 is the stable form of oxygen at 298 Kelvin and standard atmospheric pressure. Similarly, the elemental source of carbon is graphite and not diamond, because graphite is more stable and has a lower energy at 298 K and standard atmospheric pressure. Likewise, the most stable form of hydrogen under standard conditions is H2 as a gas, so it is used as the source of hydrogen in equation 525. The stoichiometry of formation reactions always indicates that one mole the desired substance is produced, as in equation 525. As a result, enthalpies of formation are reported in kilojoules per moles of the substance being formed. Several standard enthalpies of formation are given in table 53. A more complete table is provided in appendix C. By definition, the standard enthalpy of formation of the most stable form of any element is zero because there is no formation reaction needed when the element is already in its standard state. Thus, the values of delta H naught sub F for graphite, hydrogen gas, oxygen gas, and the standard states of other elements are zero by definition. Using enthalpies of formation to calculate enthalpies of reaction, Tabulations of delta H naught sub F, such as those in Table 5.3 and Appendix C, have many important uses. As we'll see in this section, we can use Hess's law to calculate the standard enthalpy change for any reaction for which we know the delta H naught F values for all reactants and products. For example, consider the combustion of propane gas to oxygen to form carbon dioxide and water under standard conditions. Propane plus 5O2 yields 3 carbon dioxide plus 4 liquid water. We can write the equation as the sum of three formations. 
the propane to carbon and hydrogen, the carbon and oxygen to carbon dioxide, the hydrogen and oxygen to water. You can add them all up and make the heat of reaction of those three according to Hess's law. From Hess's law, we can write the standard enthalpy change for the overall reaction, equation 5.29 as the sum of the enthalpy changes for the processes in equations 526 through 28. We can then use the values from table 5.3 to compute the numerical value for delta H naught for the overall reaction. All the different uh, delta H's added up forms negative 2219.9 kilojoules. Several aspects of this calculation depend on the guidelines we discussed in 5.4. Equation 5.6 is the reverse of the formation reaction for propane, so the enthalpy change is negative. Equation 5.27 is the formation for three moles of carbon dioxide. Because enthalpy is an extensive property, the enthalpy change for this step is three times delta F of carbon dioxide. Similarly, the enthalpy change for equation 528 is four times the heat of formation of water, liquid water. The reaction specifies that liquid water is produced, so be careful to use the value for, of heat of formation for liquid water and not gaseous water. We assume that the stoichiometric coefficients in the balanced equation represents moles. For equation 5.29, therefore, the value of heat of reaction is negative 2220 kilojoules, represents the enthalpy change for one mole of propane and five moles of oxygen to form three moles of carbon dioxide and four moles of water. The product of the number of moles and the enthalpy change in kilojoules per mole has the units kilojoules. We therefore report the heat of reaction in kilojoules. Figure 522 presents the enthalpy diagram for equation 529 showing how it can be broken into steps involving formation reactions. We can break down any reaction into formation reactions as we have done here. When we do, we obtain the general result that the standard enthalpy change of a reaction is the sum of the, the standard enthalpies of formation of the products minus the standard enthalpies of formation of the reactants. The symbol sigma means the sum of an N and M or the stoichiometric coefficients of the chemical equation. The first term in equation 531 represents the formation reactions of the products, which are written in the forward direction, that is, elements reacting to form the products. This term is analogous to equations 5.27 and 5.28 in the previous example. The second term represents the reverse of the formation reactions of the reactants, as in equation 5.26, which is why the heat of formation values have a minus sign in front of them.